few city politicians are proposing radical changes that would hurt our renters and neighbors. Members of the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association are up in arms over two proposed Minneapolis ordinances that would limit who they can't rent to. Landlords would be barred from denying applicants with felony convictions over five years old, misdemeanors over two years old, and arrests that never led to a conviction. They also wouldn't be able to deny renters who have evictions over three years old or credit scores under 500. Property owners argue that's simply not fair. I find it hard to believe that the city would walk into a bank in Minneapolis and tell them that they could no longer use credit scores to underwrite for an auto loan or a mortgage loan. A second ordinance would also limit how much landlords can charge for a security deposit, limiting them to two months rent. City council members who came up with the two ordinances say they're all about removing barriers to low income renters, who they argue are victims of the city's low vacancy rate, with landlords using any tool they can to keep them out. The council somehow sees us as the enemy when we want to be part of the solution. Council members are still hashing out the two ordinances and are asking property owners to help them out. They hope to have a final version and a public hearing by the end of the summer. Meanwhile, property owners are digging in, ready for a fight. We have to build our way out of this, and the city should be working on incentives to get more builders to come to the city, not incentives like this that scare them away. In Minneapolis, Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.